James Braga here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with a little video that, you know, to show you guys what happened to my day. A little snafu, a little startle. Like I've done a thousand times over, I've used my Sony Alpha A5000 to record most of my unboxings within the past four years. You know, a very great camera, always records an MP4. I can always find the file. Today, for some reason, I recorded my unboxing with the Sony. And I could not find the file format. Now I'm going to pull up my files. And I'm going to click my drive, which is drive G, which is the Sony Alpha drive. You go to MP root, which is where the 100 AMV 01 is where my file folders are. Now you guys will see in here, here are my, are my bunch of my MP4 files. These MP4 files are the certain unboxings that are still in here or other videos I've taken, like, you know, up leave peeping with my wife or stuff like that. Today's videos were not in here and I, my heart dropped. I was, uh, you know, I did an unboxing of an NVMe dot SSD uh, 2.0 or, uh, you know, M.2 SSD. And if you guys know about those, you have to actually cut the little box and it cuts the strip off. You can't re-unbox that. Once it's cut, the whole video has gone. You know, the whole video, that part of the video, you can't redo. I couldn't find the files in here. By luck, I use Wondershare Filmora X. If you pull Wondershare Filmora X up, if you're using it, it actually found the files. Well, for some reason, the Sony Alpha changed file format. It changed it over to AVC HD file format. Well, if for some reason, my PC would not find the AVC HD file format. Well, I go into the software now. I go to the same drive. I find private. Inside the private is the AVC HD. Now, this wasn't there before. The private part was, but this wasn't. In here, the BDMV. Then you'll have another options, playlist, clips, and stuff in stream. I clicked on stream, and here are my file formats. Now, unfortunately, you have to go through all those steps just to find your files. I couldn't find them earlier. Well, Filmora X finds it and actually can play it and convert it. So if we select the bottom one, you see how fast it swaps over. I'm going to play this little part for you guys. Okay, now that I cut one edge off, you guys remember... You guys can see there is the part that startled me because, well, you notice the edge is cut off. There is no coming back from that if there's no file. Well, Fillmore X can read it, can convert it to any file format you want. I always, you know, when if I export and let's insert, we'll keep it at that, export it. You can keep it at the MP4 file format. You can change it to resolution settings you want. If you want to go up to 4K resolutions, you know, please do so. I'm not actually going to go there. I'm going to leave it at 1080p. It's good enough for this file, unfortunately. I mean, if I really want, I can go higher, but we are going to leave it at 1920 by 1080p, you know, and then you can export it, you know, click the export, this and that. It didn't give me an option to label it, but, you know, you, that can be all changed to new settings and stuff. So we're going to cancel that. So that is how you can find your file format and find it in there. Well, now that I know that's there, I don't have to be so startled because I literally thought I lost the review. So hopefully that saves you guys the little issue if you guys lose the file format. Your guys' computers may read it. For some reason, my computer didn't read that file and wasn't showing it. But thank you for checking out this little video. Keep your eyes out for more on DragonBlogger.com to come, and have a great day.